Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going? Good to see you again everyone. So it's the 13th of October 2020 and this is on Tuesday. So today's topic is about Chikospan, Chikospan breakout and I will talk about the Chikospan, the importance of Chikospan. So I will look at the Nasdaq. Like we said, we like we saw earlier uh, yesterday, Nasdaq's been going up after the live stream. So I hope you caught some trends on that uh, index. But I will pick at that one because that is the trending market right now, and I think that's a good example to talk about Dutch call span. So let's see. So I have a um, I have pumpkins in my back. Because <laughs> this is uh, October now, so yeah, hold on. Let me enlarge the frame. All right, so I have two pump pumpkins, two pumpkins in my back. So it's um, Halloween day. So for those who are new, new to my channel, my name is Kei, and I am a Japanese full-time forex trader based in Tokyo, Japan. And in this YouTube channel, I mainly talk about how to simplify your market analysis and how to be time efficient and also how to become non-losing trader over time which is my philosophy of my trades and also I have been using the Ichimoku Kinkohyo for the last 5 years as one of my main trade strategies um, actually I met Ichimoku like 7 years back but uh, when I started to use it seriously it was 5 years ago so and I have been sharing the extensive knowledge through the original books in this YouTube also. This is Ichimoku Kinkohyo and it says complete. Complete Ichimoku complete volume is actually the the essence of Ichimoku. So this is a very this is a Bible of Ichimoku here. So yeah, this is uh, something that I share on my YouTube channel. And as far as I know, I'm the only Japanese writer who teaches Ichimoku Kinkohyo from the original books in English. So hopefully you enjoy my Ichimoku lectures too. I run the closed Ichimoku community also. So if you're interested, you can click on the join button on YouTube if you can find it. And always welcome to join the Ichimoku community. So let's see who's here first. And today's live stream is going to be a little brief. It's going to be about 30 minutes because uh, afterwards I will go out and eat. So because everything's ranging right now, so I decided to take a take a you know enjoyable time tonight. So let's see, Josie, WM, Karim, and Mehdi, thank you for joining. Uh, Danish, good to see you from UK. Good to see you again. All right, from sunny and fresh. Prison UK, great, great. Arikari, Melanie, thank you for joining from UK too. Sunny UK, great, great. In Japan, it's kind of cloudy, but um, yeah, not too hot, not too cold. It is a uh, nice weather. Hi, Matewes Lewi, thank you for joining. Good to see you again. And Decoin, good to see you again too. And Yoron, thank you for joining too from Netherlands. Oh, so Yoron has been uh, my moderator now. So I have a new picture for the moderators. So now Yoron here and also Maru, Mr. Maru has been uh, moderating this channel. And I have a nice picture of them. So now you see the face and you see the description of um, their backgrounds briefly. And actually I have already put this picture on my website. So when you come to my website and if you scroll down a little bit, um, I actually created this banner now and also um, you can see the whole schedule of October. Sorry about the delay, submit the schedule for October, now you have it. So today is the uh, 13th, so Chikol Span breakout strategy is a topic for today. So you see the schedule for public life and also membership life, you see the schedule and below here is actually the moderator's, moderator's introduction. So, yep, please enjoy uh, their their description. So, so yeah, they are the ones who are watching you. All right. 
<laughs> okay, but thank you for joining, Yorun. And uh, Antipas, Vincent, Sean, thank you for joining. Also, Alana, good to see you. And Thanapol, Zoyeb, Henry. And uh, let's see. Yep, we've got um, lots and lots of uh, uh, traders now. Very great to see you. Kayon, uh, Waruna, thank you for joining. And uh, Roy, Red, and Tauhid, good to see you, Femin, Daniel, and uh, Son, and James, thank you for joining everyone, good to see you. Okay, so let me show the Nasdaq, or before doing it, briefly, as a disclaimer, um, this knowledge is based on my experience, so when you take trades, please do, with your own risk. Okay. So, I was talking about the Nasdaq yesterday, and um, I posted uh, actually the chart on the YouTube um, community. If you already saw this, um, if you come to this YouTube community, and if you can click on this community channel, community tab on YouTube, and you, if you scroll down a little bit, if you scroll down a little bit, uh, I post it like this. So yesterday, I was explaining about how to look for the trading edges by three or more confirmations. And in this example, it was a, um, first of all, uh, Bollinger Band was squeezing, and also Kenta Trend Line breakout. Kenta Trend Line was able to draw, and also there was a Fibonacci bounce. And that's why, once it breaks upwards, then that will be a buy chance. Or we can look for, we can wait for the stochastic gold cross, which was happening also. And you can you can take a buy here too also. And um, yeah, let's see what happens afterwards. So today, on this Nasdaq, it's been going up all the way. So this was exactly where I, where I was talking. This was exactly where I was talking, so after the breakout, the price continued to go up this way, all the way. And now, this is all the way going up to this level. Well, this is still going up, it's so strong, it's so strong. So, um, yeah, um, let me talk about that Chikol Span today, as one of the topic. So, Chikol Span breakout is actually one of my trade strategies also. I haven't really talked about Chikou Span as my strategy. I only introduced Chikou Span as the Ichimoku, as a part of Ichimoku strategy. And it is, it is a Ichimoku um, line. But uh, the way I look at it, the way I take Ichimoku or a Chikou Span is in lower time frames. So today's topic is about this one. If you see this KTS PDF, which is available for free from the link below, um, I look at the trading edges by 5 or 15 minute chart. So in 5 or 15, I look at all these indicators and tools and lines and try to combine, try to look for at least 3 or more confirmations to take buy or sell. And Chikou Span Breakout is one of my trading edges. So um, if you look through the the chart, daily chart, um, what we can see is that the uh, this is still ranging. Um, it seems to be going up on this part, but if you see the whole picture, it is always nice to see the whole picture here. So if you see the whole picture, if you look at the Kumo, this is still flat over time. And also Kijun Sen is technically flat. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. And yeah, Chikou Span, sorry, uh, Kijun Sen is flat, and uh, Kumo is currently like a thin thread, and it is, it is flat also. So in this case, instead of taking a daily chart, I would recommend you to take the 4 hour chart, because if you look at the 4 hour chart, uh, this is more trending upwards. So let me just delete this uh, Fibonacci here, yeah? and you can see that the Kumo has been moving up more st steadily than daily chart, and also Senko Span A is up and Kijun Sen is up on 4 hour chart. So in this particular case, I take the 4 hour chart. 
for, to capture to write on this trend. So that means when the forward chart stops, stop this uptrend, then I will look for the exit timing. So forward chart is moving up right now. So I take the four, and also let's like look at the one hour thirty. Okay, one hour. This is gradually still moving up. Uh, Senko span B is completely flat, but we can see that A is up and Kijun Sen is gradually up. So this is also another nice uptrend confirmation on this one hour chart. Or we can go down to thirty. And if we see 30 minute chart too, uh, the Kijun Sen is moving up, and also uh, Senko Span A is moving up. So in this case, you can take either 1 or 30 uh, for confirmation. So yeah, this is moving up. So that, that's when we are ready to look for, finally, buying edge in 5 or 15 minute chart. So far, so good. This is a step-by-step -step, um, KTS presentation. <laughs> Hope you get the idea here. So um, yeah, so let's move on to a five or fifteen minute chart and see if that Chikou Span breakout is happening or was happening already. So I just take that Chikou Span for now because I don't want you to confuse with other lines. So I will just delete all these lines but that Chikou Span on, from, uh, from um, Ichimoku here. So this yellow line is that Chikou Span and if you're new to Ichimoku, Chikou Span is a lagging uh, line that is shifted 26 candles backwards including current forming candlestick. So. Uh, if you measure manually from this candlestick, it should be 26. It should be 26 all the way to the back. And this is the Chikou span here. It says 26 bars, including current forming candlestick, which is the key. So um, let's look at the 15 and see what's happening now. So in 15, we see that the Chikou span break had happened exactly right here. You see? After the Chikou Span breakout, the price goes up this way. So this is actually one of the very strong confirmation to take a buy. But do not take the buy only with the Chikou Span breakout. Of course, we have to look at look for two, two or more other confirmations from this, from this list. So Stochastics might be gold crossing, or Bon Bands might be squeezing or there might be a Fibonacci bounce. But Chikou Span is actually one of the greatest confirmations to buy. So this is how I use Chikou Span in lower time frames. And in this case, I only look for the gold cross of Chikou Span or the breakout of Chikou Span here on the candlesticks because what we're looking for is a buy chance. We never look for we never take a sell on this Chikou Span break downwards. Yeah, we, we never we never take this. We only have to focus on this Chikou Span breakout upwards. So that's in 15 minute chart. And also, um, let's take a look at the 5. It's always nice to compare. So in 5, Chikou Span break happened exactly on this candlestick. You see? So Chikou Span was below, and as it goes up, Chikou Span break the previous candlestick, and currently it's still going up this way. So for now, this is too late to take this Chikou Span breakout as one of the confirmations because the price has been going up all the way. So um, yeah, but uh, when it happens, when you happen to see the market exactly here, so for example, uh, if I do the bar replay, Let's say you look at the market real time like this, where, where a 4 hour chart is up and 1 hour chart or 30 is up. Then you look for buy chance and you look for you wait for the Chikou Span to break the candlestick upwards here. So you wait and I just move one by one the candlesticks. So 
and this is five minute chart. Okay, this is five, and as you keep watching the market, you see each correspond break here happens. So when it happens, let's look at the scarcities if it's gold crossing. Um, let's try to look for uh, two other confirmations. Okay, so in this case, um, stochastics was gold crossing already before, and I think this is too late to take. So, but yeah, this is a good confirmation to buy, but this is kind of too late. I think we have, uh, hold on, I think this is like um, seven or eight candlesticks backwards. Yeah, this is like eight candlestick backwards or seven candlestick backwards. So, this is too late. Um, it should be. Um, within at least like uh, three or four candlesticks. So seven or eight candlesticks after the gold cross might be too late. So realistically, I won't take the gold cross in this case. So I will just close the stochastics and look for other confirmation. So let's look, let's take the Bollinger Bands and see if it was squeezing. And yeah, it was squeezing before and now it's going up. So after the squeeze, the price went up and it caused some breakout. So this was second confirmation for this body band squeeze. You see, in five minute chart. And let's look for one more. Um, let's see, what, what can we take? Uh, Fibonacci bounce is not really ideal to take in this case. Uh, maybe we can zoom out. Um, yeah, but there is no recent low here, so we cannot take the Fibonacci bounce. Um, or we can take the counter trend line break. But um, it doesn't work either because there is no pullbacks. If the price moves like this, then we can take the counter trend line like this and catch the breakout. But this is not happening, so we cannot take this one yet. So, in this case, it looks like we only have two confirmations. Um, yeah, how about the candlesticks? Let's look at the candlesticks and if see if we have any engulfing or thrust up or uh, pin bars. And we don't see any significant um, candlesticks patterns here. I think this is a thrust up that we can see. These are three consecutive candlesticks bullish this is um this is a bullish trend so yeah we might be able to take this one but um yeah i would wait for a couple more candles until i see other confirmation so let's just move one by one okay so there was a doji here and the doji breakout is very strong so if it breaks up then i will take that one also and yeah, looks like in this candlestick, the doji candle break happened. So how I see doji is that the, um, yeah, I am talking about this doji candlestick right now. And whenever I see doji, I, I in my head, right, in my head, I draw the low, lower level and also the higher level on this doji candle. And if it breaks out, upwards in this case. I take that as one of the confirmations to buy. Um, we have to focus on the close price. So clearly on this candlestick, the close candle close already broke the doji candle upwards. And now we have uh, three confirmations. So once again, Bollinger Band squeeze and uh, Chikospan break and doji breakout then I will take a buy here. And in this case, the stop loss is going to be slightly below the recent low, and I will take this uh, weak pointing downwards. So the stop will be here, and I take a buy here. And in this case, the stop loss is going to be, um, yeah, this is, yeah, this is pretty wide, I guess. Um, yeah, this is, yeah, like a one percent of of, uh, of the market. But yeah, if I if I take two percent, then I calculate it manually and take a buy here. 
and stop will be here. And I just keep holding that by until the 4 hour chart goes flat. And now it goes up to this way. And I'm in profit now. I should be in profit now. So anyways, um, this is how I look for, uh, I mean, how I see this Chikospan breakout as one of the confirmations to buy. So it was a case in 5. And we see the Chikospan break in a 15 minute chart too. Uh, Chikospan break had happened in this 15 minute chart too, exactly right here. Which, it wa which was actually on this candlesticks, on this candlestick, Chikospan was breaking up. So um, I look for, once again, three or more confirmations, including the Chikospan break in 15. But most likely, I don't see any, um, any uh, significant um, signal here. Maybe we can draw the counter trend line like this. Hmm. I don't think this is realistic because uh, we only have like two points. Whenever I draw the lines, I, I always look for at least three points to touch so that it works as a breakout or support resistance. But in this case, we only see like two points for this line, so most likely I won't take it. And yeah, let's look at the stochastics. Stochastic gold cross was happening here. Yeah, so one, two, three, cap three candles or four candlesticks afterwards. The stochastic gold cross happens here. So that will be another confirmation to buy. Um, but yeah, um, like this, Chikospan breakout is actually one of my ways to capture the trading edges. And I thought Nasdaq is a very good example today because this is trending up. So that's why I picked up this pair. So, so far so good. So do not take the Chikospan breakout by itself to buy because sometimes it becomes fake. Always make sure to add more and more confirmations to buy in lower time frames. At least three is my recommendation. Sometimes I look for four or five confirmations to buy or sell. So briefly, uh, touching on these uh, Forex pairs, uh, these are pretty much ranging. So let me turn the Ichimoku back. All the lines. Okay, so yeah, I look at the daily chart and Euro USD. It's been flat ranging. The Kumo's price is in the in the Kumo now, and Euro GBP is also between the Kijun Sen and the Kumo. This is not the best timing to look for any trades, and Euro JPY is also. The price is in the Kumo now. Let me zoom out a little bit so that you can see the whole picture. Yeah, this is uh, ranging. GPPUSD is the same thing. And GPPJPY also, the price is in the Kumo now. And um, USDJPY, the price is below the Kumo. However, uh, currently this is in between Kijun Sen and Kumo. So it shows ranging market. Chikospan is also very close to the candles. USCCAD, the price is going down, uh, but Chikospan is touching the candles, so this is not the best timing to sell yet. Um, CADGPY price in the Kumo now, Chikospan touching. And AUDUSD, the price is also in the Kumo now, and AUDJPY also price is in the Kumo. So that's why I decided to go out for dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah. Not the best timing to place any orders today on my on the pairs on my watch list at least. So, um, one of the tips for you to capture which which market is trending or not is actually uh, the currency strings chart. You can use the currency strings chart to uh, perceive uh, which one is trending right now. 
So we can see that New Zealand is quite strong. Strongly going up, New Zealand, the pink one. And let's see. And in this case, I look for which one is trending down. And I found this orange USD. USD is trending down. So uh, USD NZD should be going down right now. And uh, what else? Uh, this uh, gray. I mean, uh, this uh, brown one. Uh, CHF. So NZD CHF should be going, going up. So, so this is CH, uh, CHF, and I just start to see this a pound is currently going down. So GBP, New Zealand is going down right now. So any New Zealand pairs might be a good one to take trace. Just for your information. Just for your information, if you want to save time, uh, a currency strength chart is a, is a great help to see which one is trending or not, or which pair is trending. And as we, as we can see, uh, right now New Zealand pair is trending. So that's a little tip of uh, which one is trending. Okay, so I guess I will be ending the live for now. I hope you get the essence of Chikospan breakout as uh, one of the topics for today. And let's see, I will be going out in about 5 minutes, but let me briefly um, scan this, uh, this uh, chat comments. Euro, GBP, I already covered that, this is flat ranging. Um, let's see, OSON, yeah, you're welcome for USDJPY comment on Discord, you're welcome. Um, let's see, um, I'm not really sure about C clamp, I don't know about that. Hi, Yasar, thank you for joining, good to see you. Um, let's see, EuroCAD is now downtrend, okay, okay, is it downtrending in which time frame is the key? Daily chart or forward chart, then we can look for, we can uh, confirm it in mid time frames. How about AUDJPY? AUDJPY is also ranging right now. The price is in the Kumo. In, the, in this daily chart, in forward chart, uh, this is gradually moving up. So in four, the Kijun Sen is going up and the Kumo Senko Span A is going up. So in four, this might go up to this way. Not really strong buying momentum, but yeah, the, I would say that this is bullish. Chikol Span is technically above the candles too, so this is technically bullish in my mind. Will you be able to mention about Kyushu legs in IBM version 4? Oh, the Kyushu leg strategy will be another uh, booklet that is available, that should be available for Ichimoku community sometime this year, within this year. Yeah, I decided not to include the Kyushu legs in any books because uh, first one, Ichimoku basic master book, is uh, pretty much focused on the five lines of Ichimoku. So I also renewed uh, the Ichimoku community page here, and um, yeah, this one is this one is uh, for about five lines, essence of Ichimoku five lines, and this is about three theories, and Kyushu legs is actually you know none of these, so I will create another booklet for Kyushu legs. Okay, so. I guess um, I will get going. So, thank you for joining everyone today. And tomorrow, what I will be talking about is the. Um, let me confirm myself also. 14th on October. Tomorrow, I will be talking about Bollinger Band squeezing expansion strategy. So, if you're interested, please join. 
And、um, yeah, I always welcome everybody to this live stream. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope you and your family and everybody will be stay safe, stay healthy, and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you. I just, I just put this one in the end for, for the closing. All right, thank you, everyone. Bye for now.